Okay, hey guys, um, welcome back, first of all. Um, so, uh, that last video, you guys, um, wanted me to, um, do a video on COVID. So, um, I was trying to think if I wanted to do a a live that way you guys can ask questions or um just go ahead and do a regular video so i opted to do it this way now if you have further questions you can um, put those questions down in the comment section below i hope everybody is good um Y'all being safe, like I've been asking you to, because um, I don't want this to happen to anyone, you know, whether I've met you face to face or just from here or from wherever. So, um, so I guess I'll start from the beginning, huh? I got sick at work. I wasn't 100% because I was still sick from previous when Jamari, the baby, got sick. So I figured, okay, I just took on what he had. So I wasn't feeling good from that point. And then worked a few days and then I got sick at work. They sent me home because we have to follow um, CDC. And I'm not saying where I work. Um, and we, you know, they sent me home, whatever. And during this whole time, you know, you guys know me. I'm cleaning all the time. The apartment is clean. I wear my mask. I'm a, I'm a person that if you say don't do this, I'm not going to do it. If you say do this, I'm going to do that. So this was no different. So when they gave us So when they gave us um you know, things that we have to do. We do a lot of cleaning, right? So I'm wearing my mask. I, I start wearing um, the little plastic gloves, everything like that, right? Because I want to be safe, safe, safe. All right, but I still ended up getting it. I still ended up getting it, right? Um, so when I got sick at work, that kind of put me on alert that you know okay maybe the same because i can tell you it's been years since i have um regurgitated right so i'm like okay so get tested at it before i got tested because uh it was on on a thursday so friday saturday Monday, that Monday I got tested and I'm looking down because I'm trying to push my memory. Um, so, so, um, I got tested Monday and the test came back and said it was, po I was positive. Okay. Before that uh, throwing up, I didn't have any other symptoms. I had headaches. And I really didn't pay that any attention either, guys, because I always suffer from headaches anyway because of my high blood pressure. So, you know, um, that didn't um, send off any alarm bells, um, more of them anyway. So that's why I say that part 
did. So, no other symptoms besides that. So I'm positive, right? All right. Um, okay. So, how did how did you isolate from the boys? This was one of the questions that I thought of that you might ask. So once I found out that I was positive, um, all contact just stopped between myself and the boys. Now, my boys, my grandsons are seven and two. Was Jamari Jamari? No, um, he was two, gonna turn three, cause this was January the 11th. Um, hit, my birthday is the 13th and his birthday is the 15th. So, um, and I, you know what? I was feeling kinda off then and I was just like, I ain't wanna do nothing. You know, plus we can't. You know, what, what, what are you going to do? You can't do nothing on your freaking birthday, right? So I was just like, okay, well, you might as well forget about that. So I was already in that kind of mood. Um, I, it wasn't like sad or anything. I had just literally prepared my mind that, you know, this year you can't do anything. I mean, so that, that took place. Um. Oh, okay. Um, I was talking about um, being isolated from the boys. Right. So, um, all connections stopped. That's what I was saying. And when I mean all contact, all contact just stopped. So, um, my grandson, AJ, um, we would wear a mask if we had to be face to face. So I told y'all before that I was in complete amazement from how he just stepped right up and he just did everything. It was it was like, okay, now no, now no down. So here I go, I gotta go, boom, boom, boom. And it was like effortless for him. So I really, I thank God for him. And oh boy, I love these boys so much. Um, so, um, I mean, he, from changing uh, Jamari's diaper, whether it was number one or number two, he did all of that. This is what I'm talking about, okay? This is how this, this young man stepped up. Um, so, um, so I would, uh, like literally, I might do a clip just so I could show you guys how um, I communicated with Jamari. I would talk to him through the door with my mask on. Um, Cause you know, he's so little, he don't understand. Okay, why I can't hold, why I can't touch my Nana, right? He, why I can't kiss my Nana? Cause that's what we do on a daily basis, right? So that's how we communicated. Um, and so for meals, for meals, you know, I would cook, I would disinfect um, the house, the kitchen again, wherever I was at, I would just go through and disinfect 
the kitchen because you know now they gotta come out and they have to eat so I wanted to make sure all all of that was clean and disinfected and I sprayed it down with disinfectant spray um, then I would go in the room they would come out they would eat and um, so we did that that way and you know AJ was big enough to give Mari a bath so he did that you know um, so things like that we kind of just work out and it just you know it's just like it made me feel like old times you know when everybody just chipped in when somebody got sick and the family just all chipped in and that's that's how it was with the boys um and and i know god was in the middle of that you can't can't nobody tell me that god wasn't in the middle of everything that was going on because it it nothing nothing was broke do you guys understand it's seven and two like the two-year-old alone okay nothing was broke and ouch that you know it was it's, it was so amazing and it was so beautiful to see you know those boys work together like that for me Okay, so let's talk about something else. Um, what else do I have down here? Okay, how how it all started, and then I have symptoms. Um, so after I found out. Um, during it, like during my isolation period, my quarantine period, um, I, I didn't, I couldn't, um, taste, no, no, I couldn't smell, I could taste, yes, and then, Okay, you guys think I'm I'm kidding. I'm gonna show you something here shortly. I practice what I preach, then I have put around my way, then get out to see. I have to write every like I have to write everything down because I will forget. I forget. So um yes, because my smell is slowly starting to come back. But my taste, thank goodness, my taste didn't leave um, because y'all know I'm a big foodie and I have to eat. So thank goodness, once I did get my appetite back, I could taste. Um, right now, I'm starting to get, it's trying to like slowly coming in. Like if I smell the garbage, I, that it has to be a really strong something for me to smell like my candles I can't smell my candles like and y'all know I used to tell you about the office when I walked in the office it just smells so so delicious I don't smell any of that um, so I still I'm still dealing with that um, the shortness of breath, like y'all know, I normally have a strong, steady voice, but my voice is like, like that. It's, it's like that. You, you hear it. I know you guys can hear the difference from my normal talk. So that is that weakness, and then. Um, 
the shortness of breath, the fatigue is getting better. I can say that today. Um, I feel like the fatigue is getting better because before, like, it was, it was almost like wherever I was at, I just wanted to just drop down and just go, just, ugh, just, I'm out. So that's better because now I can force myself to stay up um, more. Um, and then like the shortness of breath. So just to give you an example of that. So um, just like this morning, I cooked the breakfast for the boys. I cooked my normal that I always cook for them. The sausage, the eggs, and the waffles. And then I'll, you know, cook me something. After, after I finish, even before I finish, I was super tired. Like I had ran a marathon or something. And I'm a gymnast, so, you know, my athletic background is, okay, just bounce back. Just get back up and bounce back. So that's, that was like my mentality through my whole isolation period. I'm thinking, okay, um, after my 14 days, once I get out of isolation, I'm good, I'm better. I can go back to work. I can, you know, resume everything else and blah, blah, blah. Just go back to what I was doing before I had COVID, right? No, no. I'll tell you guys it was three times that three incidents that scared me like super scared me because you guys know I fell on that table so even now I'm still dealing with the pain in my rib from that on top of the fact that I'm still coughing when I cough it hurts super bad and like my my pain is on this side right and it's right I can feel it this side is much bigger it's like it's a little bulge out so um to cough through that when I sneeze. That pain is so excru excruciating. <sighs> so it, I can't really find a comfortable position to sleep in. Um, Um. Oh, um, the, the, the other time, okay, so that's what I was talking about, the rib, and, um, the coffin was hard. Um. So that that scared me because when you cough, you know you 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 can't really expand. So and that, that's I thought about that's the reason why um, I, I'm still short of breath 
is because I can't expand. So doctor gave me one of those things, you know, you make the ball go up. So I have to use that to get me stronger there. Um, deep breaths. So I have to take as many deep breaths as I possibly can and try to hold it. So that's supposed to get me stronger. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, my background with the physical and the athletic will help me, and I know it will, it will help me, you know, get stronger. Um, but yeah, I, um, I was thinking it was gonna go, everything was gonna go back to normal. So um, the other incident that scared me was um, was actually when I did the boys laundry that's what it was I did the boys laundry and y'all know I'm the type of person once I start a project you know cleaning or whatever I want to just finish it so it's all done so I'm doing the boys laundry and I had already started feeling my body getting tired and so um, I was like okay my mind works okay if you hurry up then you'll hurry up and, and be done but it wasn't clicking in to me that if you hurry up you, you're gonna hurry and you're gonna run out of energy because my mind wasn't thinking I was one of those ones that was like okay it's like the flu so you're gonna be good so that first time I'm trying to do um, housework um, once I got out of isolation I wanted to just get how to get the house back together you know and so um, once I got the laundry I finished the laundry and I was full. I can remember folding up AJ's clothes and I was putting their clothes in the drawer. Um, and I had to sit down. I, I never sit down when I do that laundry. And I had to sit down in the floor and I was trying not to do that in front of AJ. <laughs>
not tired physically. You know what I'm saying? You, I'll say all day long, I'm so tired of this mess. You know how we do. But I was, I was physically tired. But you know, through the whole thing, I just thank God because I, I didn't have to go to the hospital. I can fight from the comfort of my home. You know, I, I didn't have to go to the hospital. That's what I'm thankful for. tell you is don't panic breathe one breath at a time and don't try to rush it because initially I wanted to rush it and then once I start praying I start being able to calm down and, uh, I can feel my Pulse was coming back down to normal because that thing was on. That one is the one that scared the living daylights out of me. It did. So, um, still, you know, now I'm trying to work on establishing a routine, you know, um, add a little bit of something to the end of my, uh, to the cleaning process. Because we, you know, we clean a lot at work, right? Um, alright guys, hold on, let me, uh, this is gonna be a long video, I apologize, so. I don't want to rush anything and I don't want to edit anything out. I just want it real. 
all the way through. Mistakes and all. Um. Okay, I got one question on here. How did you feel when I found out that I was positive? Well, um, I think I remember saying, oh my God, when I was talking to the doctor. And, um, but I was calm. I wasn't like, oh my gosh, in hysterics. You know what I mean? Um, and so I was just, like I said, I, I was just one of the ones that was like, okay, well, 14 days, they'll come and be gone. Because I'm thinking it's nothing. I wasn't feeling any pain or nothing like that. Um, just the nausea and the headaches. And then my smell went. Um, so that's that. Okay, we talked about how I isolated from the boys. Um, okay. So, one question I thought of was, how did you feel afterwards? So, after... Okay, y'all, sorry about that. The um, battery was dying. So, I don't even remember what I was talking about. You already know that. <laughs> oh, I was talking to one of my sisters and told her um, that they say you have um, the COVID brain. And ain't nobody trying to claim that. So... But it's crazy because I don't remember simple stuff. Um, okay, so let me look on here and see if I can remember what the heck I was talking about. Um, um, how did you feel afterwards? I think that's what we was talking about. Um, so, what was I talking about? Okay, so some of my symptoms that I, I feel afterwards, which is crazy to me. Because it seemed like maybe I wasn't paying attention to the symptoms that was starting to happen to me or I don't know but I start those um, once I would get out of breath that's when it seemed like the fatigue like the extreme fatigue started in and I, I, I think I told y'all that already, how I would get so tired out or just felt, yes, I did. Um, see, this, this is one I don't like. This symptom, that symptom, that symptom of not remembering things. And um, of course, the shortness of breath and the fatigue you know and now today I woke up this morning and my my body my my legs everything is hurting my back and I'm just like what the heck I mean aren't you supposed to get this stuff within the 14 days I mean, that's how my mind was thinking, right? I practice what I 
and still is because it doesn't make sense to me so um matter of fact that day um that i had that episode from doing the laundry i talked to my niece and she's a nurse she's one of my nieces that's a nurse and um, she was calling to check on me. And uh, I was telling her, I said, you know, uh, I just had a thing where I almost blacked out, you know, cause that's what it felt like. So that's the way I explained it to her. And um, she said, you know, she was telling me, she said uh, a few people she knew uh, that we acted the same way and um, the, all they could advise is to you know not push your body too too hard you know cause my niece knows me my family knows me that you know I will push myself to, to no no end you know and um So, that was one of the things that she told me, um, was to not push it, because if I do push it, um, that's how people, some people end up in the hospital, because they're pushing their body too hard, and you put in a lot of stress on your breathing, on your lungs. And uh, she she said, just don't. So I told her, I, I said, okay, you know, I will not do it. And I've been listening to um, my body. So that's why in that video, y'all saw me in the kitchen. I just left that stuff right there and went and lay down and took me a nap. Yes. So, um, I started doing some research myself. Y'all know how I am. I'm going to look it up and find out what's going on. So, I looked it up and I found a lot more people that were saying the same thing. You know, that you, you would get these symptoms like this after your 14 days or you won't fully so what it was saying is that you don't fully recover even though your symptoms were mild you don't fully recover it can take a couple months but i'm not we're not gonna be out in a couple months because i gotta get back um but i'm not gonna rush myself neither um, now, this last one, what tips to prepare yourself for, um, just in case, uh, during and after. So, the most important thing you want to do right now, even if you don't have no symptoms, is make sure if you're working, Excuse me. Yeah, is to sign up for um, short-term disability. Um, I, I don't remember what else. actually finding out all this stuff now because I just I was just like okay well Lord you know I can work it out anyway
Oh, if you can sign up for Aflac, sign up for Aflac. Um, all those little companies like that. That way, it will, it can kind of help you bridge through the healing time, the recovery time. Um, so yeah, um, I'm I'm signing up for everything because. I ain't got no money. <laughs> Ouch. <sighs> you know, this whole thing make you feel like you are I don't know. I like I can't even pick up Jamari. I used to pick him up and throw him up. I can't even lift this baby up this much because I'm not strong enough my name and not strong enough that don't even go together because that's that's not no I move furniture around in my house by myself so for me to say I'm not strong enough to do it it's very irritating Y'all have to excuse me because I have been independent woman and not that kind of independent woman that don't know how to put her king first. Let me clear that up first too. Yes, I still got my sense of humor. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. But I'm gonna beat this like I said, I'm not going to push myself um, too hard in this house. I'm going to add on just a, a little bit. So, like, if I do, if I clean the, my bathroom, I'll just do that once. Just just only the bathroom. And then next time the bathroom needs to be clean, um, I'll clean the bathroom and then come out and try to clean my room. So that's what I mean when I say I'm going to take things uh, individually and just gradually get back to where I could just clean the whole apartment in one swoop like I'm used to. Um, so make sure your finances are together because uh, you just, just never know. And that came to me today. I'm going to work on that because I don't want to pull no um, unemployment. Um, I don't want to do any of that. I signed up for me some food stamps. Yes, I did, y'all. I ain't too proud to get something, honey. I got these boys and I can't go and work. I mean, that's what it's there for, right? If I could go and work, and I would go and work. You know what I'm saying? So, I got to look out for my babies. They was put in my care. Because they knew I could do that. So, I'm not going to let them down. I'm not going to let my boys down. I'm not going to let the courts down. I'm not my daughter. I'm not my family. Not nobody. So, I will uh, stick this hand out in a minute. <laughs> ah, dang it. <laughs> Woo, child. Okay. Um, so finances, get that in order. Um, during, during, um, your COVID experience. A lot of advice I got. You're gonna get a lot of advice, and I will tell you what worked or gave me comfort, and it's giving me comfort. Um, one was don't sleep on your back. So if you're one that is uh, used to sleeping on your back, don't sleep on your back. Um, 
you know, sleep on your side or sleep on your stomach because you, your lungs, you don't want that build up yeah, to happen up there. So that's, that's the reason why for that. Um, drink lots and lots of tea, ginger root, uh, lemons, um, anything with vitamin C in it and I think that's probably why I was only asymptomatic is because I took a ton of supplements anyway every day uh, you know of course along with my wonderful God he is worthy to be praised um, what else? Ginger root tea. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> the ginger root tea. Um, lemons. Supplements. Um, elderberry. I drink that straight up. And, um, I'm gonna try to remember to get clips of all the stuff that I said I was gonna get clips for. Uh, which means I'm gonna have to look at the video and I said I was just gonna put it up. Anyway, um, elderberry. And I, I eat the, uh, y'all can't, probably won't be able to stand it, but I drink, um, I eat the, um, ginger root. Alright guys, so that was um, my doctor's office, so I had to take that one. Um, so yeah, so just make sure you stay hydrated. Don't drink cold water. Um, drink the room temperature water. Um, what else? Uh, Mucinex, I took that as well. Still taking that. Um, doing after so after right now the only after I can speak to is like after the 14 days so right now um, what I'm just um, working on is increasing my longevity as far as you know uh, the shortness of breath and um, my fatigue like I said it is getting better uh, it's not like it's overwhelming um, and I think that's because I slow myself down um, so it doesn't hit me as hard as it used to hit me like it would just be like a ton of bricks like the inside my insides felt like it was just they was just crashing and it, like I had no uh, no control is the best way I could put it I had no control on whether I wanted to go lay down or not it was just like either you gonna go lay down or you just gonna fall down right here it's the way my body was talking to me so um so yeah guys i mean um i do have my good days i have oh i cannot take a shower i cannot take a shower because that seemed like it drains me quick I don't know if it's because my body is so relaxed it's in that state of relaxation I don't know what it is but I can't tolerate a shower so I have to take a bath ain't that funny all this time I was waiting to use the garden tub and now <laughs> it's like you forced to use it <laughs> but I love it it's so wonderful and I'm enjoying that and which actually helps me to um, take care give me um, self-care time that's what it is it give me self-care time so I can appreciate that and um, yeah it's 
take your Epson, I take my Epson um, bubble baths and just have me a good old time in there. A couple times, uh, right towards the end, I drank me a little glass of wine. You know, because I was going right to bed anyway. So, yeah. I'm really trying to make the best out of it. And I uh, just have my conversations with God. And, uh, yeah. We can start getting outside. AJ go back to school tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, it'll be me and Jamari. So I can um, start doing some uh, doctor's appointments and things like that. So just to work my, I got to work my tolerance up. But guys, that's it. That's all I got. If you got questions, just put them in the description bar below and um, we'll get this light off of me because it's hot in here and it's draining me so I'll see you guys in another video um, probably another clean clean with me video so yeah I will see you guys you already know what I'm gonna say stay safe please keep the mask on I know I said I did everything like that, but still, just do it. Just do it. It's worth it. You're worth it. Stay fancy. Stay loving me. And I'll stay loving you. Alright, y'all. Love you.